everyone, I'm Donna Ruco and you're back on the list. Now, if you've been looking for a chance to mix beer and politics <laughs> and get away with it, now's the time. Erin Christie has the top three stories we're toasting around Tulsa. At number one, town hall, boring. Dive bar town hall, fun. Do's and don'ts if you head to City Council or Blake Ewing's first town hall geared toward the younger community. No fireball? Why would there be no fireball? I don't know. Uh, extra lot. Yes, do fireball is a do at a dive bar town hall, I think. So do take literal shots, but figurative? I'm not the world's most popular politician. I'll be standing there in the same room. If you want to take shots at me, bring it on, you know? Do stay on topic and don't be a microphone hog. First topic, funding the arts. It's Tuesday night at the Sound Pony. We can keep having town halls and church basements and they'll probably never show up. But if we have them in a dive bar with some local craft beer, uh, I, I think we may stand a chance, so. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. At number two, bike friendliness. <laughs> Lee's Bicycles is getting the Blue Dome District geared up for cyclists by donating bike racks. Advocacy is close to my heart, and uh, we also wanted to help brand the Blue Dome area. Guthrie Green installed bike repair stations this year and the city installed about a dozen oil derrick and buffalo design bike racks as well. Get your bike on Tulsa. And number three, Brooklyn Nets. This is Tulsa native Doug Johnston's first exhibit in Tulsa at Aberson's. I have a lot of friends and family here still and uh, they're always kind of wondering what I'm doing up in Brooklyn. <laughs> his baskets and bags have been featured in the New York Times and Vogue magazine. See his series of art using rope, thread, even beeswax through August 9th. Now you are caught up in Clued In around Tulsa, I'm Erin Christie.